Chibus is brought to you by Azapardi Fisheries Phoenicia Hotel Vegware Finia Caprici by Abrams Decal House Bonjour, and welcome to the new program with Tini Sensila at Cibus TV for one. And so, we are going to talk about the new program with Tini Sensila at Cibus TV for one. And so, we are going to talk about the new program with Tini Sensila at Cibus TV for one. And so, we are going to talk about the new program with Tini Sensila at Cibus TV for one. And so, we are going to talk about the new program with Tini Sensila at Cibus TV for one. And so, we are going to talk about the new program with Tini Sensila at Cibus TV for one. And so, we are Awek is a jaina fe an al hashish etik ber rain. Na dwele deja awek an afna hashish sabi. Yida sabi afna rain ukol. Ash vera awek an dar kabot chivi ola maktar tar tet kelu fu om. Pa ma Paulo han na udar shein. Fil praktika se meta meta na idum oshe kin tahtorini. Meta na idum praktici organici fil praktika shitkun etame. Wow an ezempio. Aunek an ezempio tipu ta sistema organica. Ana lina mla unek. بلی منو زاوش کیمی که ویش نتوانست هشیش هزین. سو. نو زاوش سمت کمانت سر کارتون. ناملو کارتون فول همریا. کارتون تالکاشی جو. کارتون تالکاشی. او ناملو کارتون چت فول فول همریا. او فرش تو هوا. فرش تو. فرش نی. سو. بات ناتو بیتی بن اکثر از استاتیکس ملی یا شاید جوهر مشوقت داره بیتی بن. اون بات این هولو دلت من ناملو تو با جال کارتون و هولو جو فیا. او سیستم تال کارتونی یا سر ویفنا رجونیت. لو هاچ اف سایف همریا ماتن ادیش. بشمش دیگه شمش. اشها نم با. سوگ در اکتبر و از اینجا بلکه امتحان سپرده. آره سپرده. از زمان همراهی داشته اکثر کول. او تر ما از زمان کتاری ما. سو. ما شیم متفاوت پرچم داشت که ما لاین. اکو. اون با تر. لیانه لیانه سیم منو. سیزده سیم تلویپ. دی دی واتر سیفین تکنیک کول جویی. اتی نه هر جا مایک برگش هشیش هزین. من جویی. آره ما تیش تاتلو. آره ما تیش و نفرانگ. او شبه شول من آدرل و نشول هشیش هزین. اینترنت. فلک فلک. حالی هشیش هزینیک برهم با تر که فردا بیش تاتلو. ما تخلیه چی برم نمیدم. او نکام او از بیوتی فکر کنم کابل هست. اند که ما من هل بیره هجی فیلی. است مکلای یک بر هشیش هزین. دل هم ریاد با کیس هاو کول او ایفنتوالمنت. فیزمین کلاچیور کارتون اساسی بود. چی ایت مرمر. اوی کارتون بله یو کاربن. لکتر هاچ آنیان نبزن فیل هم ریال کاربن. هم ریال مالتی هم ما فیش کاربن. یو کاربن زم نیوترینتی زم ارگانیسم هاین زم لیلما او لکتا هر جای امپورتانتی فر هم ریا یا وال کربن. اکو. وای وای کرد موت پیست سمپلی چی؟ سمپلی چی؟ ولی اصلی اش واشی فلوس. چی فری شال؟ من دو پرایی اندک. شاند که هفته شال بلی دی. این من دکل کارتون لینت پر بابلی دی چطور زهای شه ها جهره. وای لیت است منو. تو زهای او وای کوکال. اول سه سین اتین ال هم ریا و کال مسوس نیافتی ات بل کربن تان تان دم زن. ام کانال هاس اما وای کم باتان نال کابوچی نال کابوچی میشه که زیل استیل کابوچی آو شانه دیفر از همیه های دین از افیور چیز میل من جو کابوچی آل فیور لانی من جو از همیه های همیه های هفنه داو کن نورمالی کابوچی خودور کابوچی نورمالی مسیه که فیل بچه بیس بیس سه نه من همیشه پل بدی و نورمالی آو شانه حال تو کالش مشورشین سالمنت البدی و یاملو آل کالا هاس او آل آهرا کالا برونجیل آن حال تو کالش مشورشین Jag är då lite polycropping och en fjärde vantagjeri. Fjärde vantagjeri. Linsetti måste jag ha och bira target. Jag är inte lärare själv med mig. Och hur du om det sker? Och hur du om att jag har herbs inte nu, anke mal fury och en halv tokolos maskurshi. Intressant. Det sker där lite intensivt. Exakt. Det sker där lite intensivt. Och man är frank och har en space full. Uh, Fil- Flint's okay. 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 a CD. Oh, no, John, I do it. Respect the art, 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 the art
That's very reassuring that you're here because I'm sure the, the viewers are wondering whether I would be cooking that or not. But no, <laughs> it's going to be you. you me. What shall we be doing with this? Actually, we, what, what we're going to do is we grab a bit of vegetable from the garden, which That's is the fresh, right, yes. the fresh fish of the day, and yeah, we're going to play around, like around with this, yes. Right. Uh, I brought some, uh, some other ingredients, for example, the seaweed, which is a, it's a very, uh, it's very rich ingredient. And we're going to play with that around too. Okay. This is dehydrated. Together with the, with the fish? Exactly. With everything. Right. We're going to make a nice uh, uh, presentation. And this, what there's we're... this black this powder is, here, what this, is this? This is uh, dehydrated olives. This is olives. Dried olives? Yes. That we make a powder out of it, yes. Uh, we make a powder out of it, slowly. <laughs> And uh, it helps for the flavor. It's actually olives, just right. which is in a powder. Yes. Dried and yes. yes. Fantastic. Okay. I'm getting busy. Okay. I start cutting the fish. Tell me what to do. Okay. I need you, please. To no, the onions. Of course, the onion. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. So, I mean, so I what we're going to do? We're going so. to do actually. We're going to 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 do a risotto. So we 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 preparing. Let's say the broth for the risotto. Right. The broth for the risotto going to be nothing else as the head of the fish okay. and some stick of parsley, that's it. Very well. Okay, okay so, so I, I will start. Just Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic, okay, I want one of these. That's good. <laughs> Can I have this one? Oh, no, it's too small for me. Okay. Right, very well. So what I do? We, you have to, I will, I will make you a bit of a spot and you have to only to take the, the skin off. I, will, I will, uh, uh, will fillet the fish and we will put the head inside the water. Okay, don't look. The water. Don't do this at all. Don't do this at all. <laughs> Right, because I'm hopeless at this, you know that, right? Yes. And that's exactly why you told me to do this. Okay. So, the risotto. The risotto. We're risotto, going to the flavors are going to be mainly fish. The, the flavor is going to be mainly what we just grabbed from the garden, actually. Right. And what we have for the day. We're going to, to, to follow the main ingredient. The right. main ingredient will be the fish. Okay. Then we twist it a bit, and we will find a very fine flavor to, to carry on with I'm the... dying for this. So, I'm half not going to pro a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a This is one of the only drawbacks of this type of show that our viewers can't really taste or smell any of the things we're doing here. Um, luckily, <laughs> okay, uh, this is tricky, so it gave me a tricky bit. I would have done okay. filleted the fish much yeah, better. Of course. Right. Okay, this is the two fillet of the fish. Okay. Okay. We're going to take only the head of. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a big head. It's a big fish and a big yes. head. It's a big head. Then we, the skin, the, the, the bit of meat that stay on the fish, we're going to play with, the, with that later, with the other vegetables. So this is the head of the fish, which is going to be the main flavor for the. the very often people discard the, the head and the tail. Can we use the tail or not? not? It's more of the, more the tail. More I the, don't I no. don't see where there is a bit there is a bit of meat left here which is quite sweet. We're going to take it off. Sweet? Yes, and we're going to use it later. Okay. Because it's more much more fat. This area of the fish it's a bit more fat than the other. Right, that's let's, right. Let's make nice. order. So this is this is the fillet of the fish. Okay. We take we take this part. So that's uh, excess bone and Yes. Actually now you can Does it have the little bones as well? No, it have maybe until this part. Okay. For that we have Which we this can... small uh, pin set. Yes, right. you take that out. Right. So, just for you to explain, this is a MLT sea bus, deep water sea bus, okay. which is a very, you see even the, the, the meat is transparent, you can see. Beautiful. The meat is very, very, it's, I love it. So this is the other part, let's take the bones away. Yeah, this is where you have to have a very sharp knife, right? So make sure you have... Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. There is no... There is not uh, actually a secret. I think that whoever... More you fillet fish, more you... Yeah, of course, by practice. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's a lot of practice. The tal muhtar ma nifillet ya o ma od da taiba portate haf manikonna. Okay, so this is the fish. Now we can start with the risotto. Right. Okay, start with the risotto. You peel me my onions. Say, say anything about this. Huh? Look at that. World champion. Yeah. Okay. okay, we go with just a bit of onion. Half of it we put in the water. With the head. With, with the head of All the right. fish. A bit of parsley here. As you see, there is two types of parsley. There is the curly parsley, which and is, there, the, small which one, is yeah. the small one, and this, this one here. Now, I prefer always when I'm doing fish broth to not use the leaves because they're a bit sour. We're going to use only the sticks. Only the stems. 
Only the sticks. Then, for, for a nice flavor, we will bring a peperoncino. Uh -huh. Pepperoncino? Yes. Oh, is that hot? It just brings a, a flavor of pepper, it will not be hot. I'm not very keen on very hot food. So we take the seeds away. All right. For Joseph, and we will not feed him <laughs> with the seeds of the peperoncino, which those are in the Excellent. Actually, I'm going to leave you to it because, of course. Okay, I will start now the cooking. I, I explain you exactly what right. we're, we're up to, to do. Yes, just so, keep us informed. I'm exactly. going to be speaking to, okay. to our okay. next guest, Monique, okay. and then. Okay. Right? And you'll come back to me. In your able hands. Okay. Hello, Monique. Hi, Joseph. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. I have to tell you that I really like you. <laughs> Thank How you. Do you do, Monique? Okay. Where are you from originally? Uh, my mother's actually Maltese, but my father was British. And we lived away for most of my life because he was in the forces. I see. So I okay, sort of yeah. retired here. Right. <laughs> so that must have been an interesting upbringing. Yes, right. absolutely, yeah. So um, how, how was your relationship with food as a child? Um, I think the same as most people. You're, you know, your, your nan cooks you things. You start to fall in love. You want to start to bake and make things. My mother's an exceptional cook. She cooks Asian food. I see. Just Asian. impeccably, yeah, really unusual style, but she cooks very... Things uh, she would have picked up on the travels, maybe, or...? I think, actually, when she was originally in Malta, she had a Chinese boyfriend. Ooh. So, that's, that's <laughs> she'd, way, she'd yeah, learned, right? learned to cook uh, right. Asian food that way, and then it continued and continued as we travelled. You had more and more ingredients to hand. Yeah, but then, that, I mean, at some point, your relationship with food... Took a, a more takes over. Yes, I think. Uh, with, yeah. Direction, and I, I think getting your first home and being able to entertain at home and then becoming obsessed with food obsessed and with obsessed with food. Is that how you would yeah, describe it? Yeah, I would yourself. describe it like that. Yeah. In what way? What? Why would you um, be obsessed? My in whole ingredients and. Yeah, I, if I see something I don't know what it is, I want to taste it, try it, buy it. I'm um, often bring things home with you know Russian or Polish packaging, have no idea what's in them, and just taste it and try so and much make for the it. safety <laughs> yeah <laughs> and just um i, I like kitchen gadgets and i'm i'm a bit of a show off in the kitchen i do ah, like to fair enough. You know, okay. try new things yeah, well, you, you, you could give us a hand yeah, <laughs> our setup, in our setup. Mm. but um so that, that's that's at some point it mm. also became part of your work yes and that's what you do and that's yes you, that's right yeah we like to call you a foodie or a food yes. lover whatever you Yes. No, I, I, I wrote for um, a local newspaper for a couple of years about right. food and uh, helped them start a, a food magazine off, so that was exactly. a lot of fun. And then from there I span out and I sort of just create my own recipes and record what I'm, I'm making. Mm -hmm. And from there it's gone a step further. I've, I've actually started to develop an app, which is wow. all about um, creating menus for people. Now, it's not just a normal menu Great creator. Menus. For any occasion, you mean? Or? Um, no, normally for occasions, but because everybody today has different eating, I don't want to say disorders, That's but, uh, yeah, you know, you have yeah. vegetarians, That's raw right. foodists, yeah, people who are celiac or don't want to eat wheat, yeah, whatever. Yes, yes. So all of these things, when you're trying to create a menu, it can be quite difficult. Of course. So we've created this app and a website, which is, it's currently in oh. progress, in fact, which is going to help people be able to create, record, oh. Their menus um, for their guests. That's fantastic. So, but that's tell me one thing: when it mm. comes to crit critique mm -hmm. a, a dish, yes, there's your subjective posi position. But he, of course, you're not describing it for yourself; you're describing it for others. How do you manage to keep your um, I don't know your, your style away from mm. and your preference away from what you're actually? Uh, I think you have to be brutally honest and people start to believe what you say and they know when you say something's good it's going to be good right. and I think the beauty of food writing is actually you can really describe things you don't just want to say it was a really nice piece of fish yeah no, how was the texture right. what was the smell how did it feel when you cut okay. it Right. You know, you can really describe things and put people so you in your place. What you, Absolutely, what you're because you may not like soft fish. Right. So if I'm des describing a really soft fish, yes. you might think, well, then that's not what I'm going so to. So are we going to expect a brutal um, <laughs> verdict on Saul's cook cooking? Cooking? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, something which is not going to help him is that I'm going to be his sushi. <laughs> so um, you have to keep that in mind when you come for the, the critic. All right? Okay. I'm going to see if you can help. Right, come on. Okay, 
Okay. Hey, talk me through it. Okay. So what we're gonna do? What we're doing? We have the the, the rice that is almost ready. Okay. Is is in, in good point of cooking. Okay. We we make it now. We we not stop it, but we actually we let it cook more gently so and, and not it aggressive. Okay. Yes. Okay. Quite, I think, though, actually, what we did here, we just took three tomatoes. We cut them in half. Right. I made, uh, I w put a bit of oil in the pan. Important when we put the oil in the pan. Yes. This is a very good oil. Now, oil always have a smoke point, which is very important. Yes. You cannot leave the oil there and shh, because then everything will be sour. We're going to burn everything. Right. So we have everything that we touch, everything that we touch, we have to give the maximum of respect. We have to know what mm -hmm. we're touching. Of course. And we have to give the maximum of respect. So what I did here, again, I put three tomato cherry, cut them in half. Involved a bit of garlic or a bit of onion. So if you like garlic, I like onion. Right, so we go so good. We're fine. We're fine. We're Both fine. of us. We're fine. Then what and I did? Have, we'll take anything. So okay. Just, that's what she's saying. And a bit of basilic. <laughs> so it's a really summerish dish. Right. Very very quick to cook. Let me take you back to the olive oil. Because you said you have to respect it. Yes. What, what did you mean by that? Practically in, in practice. When I, when I put a good oil, so first of all, there is a lot of difference of olive oil. Um, olive oil is it's a world. Okay. Let's. It's yeah, like a coffee. It's a world. It's, it's, it's a oh, totally... So many different types. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we have to respect it, first of all. I don't like to start cooking and to make the pan burn like this. Okay. So, no. so you keep it on a lower heat. Exactly. Okay. And when we, took, when we take the garlic, we don't peel the garlic and we make it... In this case, I just make some small dots to bring the flavor okay. as okay. out as, as, as fast as These possible. Bits here. The correct thing to do it, just like this. Uh -huh. And to put it inside. That's it. I, I knew well, that. Okay, oh, when, when this become a bit blonde, it means that all its flavor went outside to the oil, so to the sauce. And here we, we have, again, we have a fiber. We don't need that fiber, actually. You know that in, when, in Malta we used to, uh, many people still would leave the entire garlic. It will not make a damage, let's no, say. It's uh, not, not, in the not until you actually it's, uh, it's, chew it's, it. It's <laughs> damage for, I for sure. My dear not. mother, she used to do this. And, but let's say that if you yeah. go, uh, um, I'm, I'm to speak around Italy. Around Italy, you will never find you these pieces. You, never find, a, you, you will never find. You will never find in whatever dish a piece of garlic on your dish. Never. No. Not even those Only the small flavor. pieces. Exactly. So right. this this went here to the broth to okay. just have a, a stronger flavor. But actually, this is to cook gently. To you know, this right. a piece of a sibas. Actually, it's time cooking can be one minute and a half, two just minutes, a little bit, of, just yeah. a bit, just a bit. Not and it will absorb all those layers. Exactly, okay. that's what we wanted him to do. Right. As you see, there is a bit of liquids. We will send the liquid down. So, so uh, actually, the fish can, can grab all the liquid. It's not seared it. It's like steamed. Okay. Of course, that's right. What okay. do you think so far, Monique? No, it looks um, like it's going to be quite simple but tasty. Looking forward to it. Do you add uh, wine to your risotto, or you, you're Sorry? Just, you're adding wine to no, your risotto? No, I, I didn't add uh, wine. Mm -hmm. I already added the. Uh, so, yes, suppose mm -hmm. when we put the fish, but as soon as I start this risotto, in in order to keep the main flavor, mm -hmm. to not go too much. So I choose in this case to have the sea bass, which is this is the super sour of the risotto, and we just give it a twist with the lemon leaf. That's it. So this is a very simple flavor. I want it to be that simple so you can feel, actually, in the risotto, the fat of the sea bass, which is not a lot, but still, I want it to be creamy from the fat of the sea bass. All right? So is this something you came up with right now when you came here, yeah. or, or...? Actually, yes. <laughs> Uh, I would never be able to do that. I would never be able to do Why that. not? No, because what, there is not even that yeah, reason. Not, then, look, would you need to have everything prepared, or can you just... No, not at all. It's, it's a bit like chopped in our house. It's whatever's in the house. Then the other dish, what, what I'm going to do now in, in the middle, yeah. in, in the meantime, that the risotto is in and the fish is quite ready. Yes. We're going to slice a bit of this wonderful cabbage, because it has a lot okay. of property. I love this kind of cabbages. Yeah. Now we're going to start going in season, yes, yes. we're a bit, this is a it. bit, a bit uh, uh, I'm going to slice it, just to sear it. We seared it with pumpkin seeds and a bit of, of onion, so it will get a bit of fat and flavor. Yes. And we're going to add... The seaweed. The seaweed. The seaweed is wakame. 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 Normally, normally wakame, it's a kind of, of, of seaweed which everybody will fry for 
for, for, yeah, for garnish. But actually, frying the wakame you is killing it. It's not killing it, it's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's much worse than that. Excellent. I'm going to leave it up to you okay. because we have to go to okay. something of. I will start, uh, very I will start plating. Yes, okay. Something which is very important as well composting. Very important. Huh? Very Preparing very important. your own compost? Yes. How about that shake if the stout is done? Prepare our compost down. And then Nitkelmo, Ma Yadas, Peter Thomas, the Yadas Pictar Tambien. Oh, I don't know the PhD. And it can have a system at a vegetable, a week. Fuq il-kif tam il-kompost. Ezzat, dan uwa kompost bin ya idula li uwa nutrient bazikament al-hamrija. So, jvi dan kompost, umat uwa haddak li kun jistaj uzzah jaw għalik, jik ma għandek xalik, jistaj uzzah taħi l-ħaddi għodu kol, jvi imma xa ħadja li nkun għat insaħ u kol hamrija. Issa, min flok nu għodu nishtru il-kompost, nisa u namlu kompost id-dar. Bieġ blikel, per ezempju, jek ja għaw kol forsi xi xi pjanta. Il-fdaliet ta' li kjer. Il-fdaliet, ezzat, kol ma tittamil, tiftaħ il-lid u tibda. Tippakja ta' تبدأ تبقي تبدأ تبقي تبدأ تبقي زفية جفيدي أو كيف يعني؟ تالفجور أوفيا من تاتم البنلاينر تالفجور أو يبدأ يصير كومبوست السام بس تفتح اللي داونك ده هو لا تفضل فات نحن مش نسبيق أو فتيت لأن ليش أنك ما مش يستعيج بتش يعني ما لي على راه نبيش نقول ما يكون مش لا تقول تا يكون مالو على راه أنك على استيكا تدل تايبا. أبنا وهذا عنده بزاف. تبدأ من الكمبوست. كيف يكمل دوم بيجي زيد الكمبوست؟ يدبندو كل الكلima. for example في الصيف for سي. إكتر هفنا إكتر. for سي في الشتاء six weeks to nine weeks. شو جم مش هفنا؟ ما أنت مش هتوزع كله في دا. آه دا مش. أنت تكون أنت تيم تدفع فيه. جو في دا كله من يف كم نار بو يعسى وكم نحلو. Eħe, naħlu... Issa bdal mot et naġon tuħlura l-art għalina. Diki, għanka minni kollu pet, per eżempju, xie forsi xie fenka, u jinna, bilħmiċ, taħħa, il-ħej. Em ċertu għanni ma li ma tistaċ tam il-kompost bija. Per eżempju, dik importanti ma fuq il-sajt taħna min l-informazzjoni kolla u min forsi rit, min informa iktar ruħu jista ta' vegwer ezat. Ezat, vegwer.com. Min detalju kolla. Ma għadina interessanti, sa dina u forsi jetna rawa għbira u kolla, xista jikun, per eżempju, għal ambjent għal għawwek li għadin dajxu fi, għawwek, all right, tkun, tista taħza ċi wahda jizza... Em, we had, per eżempju, ta' 220 liters, li għal daqsek, ġi... Għal kħalla ġinejna zajra, bieċa, ta' għi tam mek tista tuqot... Jo, bieċa bitħa, filmt, em, min flok... Ja, sa dano ma' sistemi faċli, di, jġi fi li għarmajni għaj, ca ma' propriament, la ma' ta' jiena, għax kħan ta' nalina jiena, għax jiena ma' nin għalaċ jajib da' l-offa, jieto f-kemli najdlik, vera faċċi. Kem dom. Jieħi biċħet najdil kom jieħi faċċi, vera faċċi. Orrekt. Le, le, bla dobju. Jieħi li kem, kem, snap and fit. Jieħi li tħol u daqsek, u lesta. Ekko. U dik li jieħsa, inkuna għatni franka għu lewenet u kol il-flux, fil-sens li jieħna flok nuzaw l-nixtru l-konfos. U land fil-u kol, għaj min kem il-darbe inti tuħroċ mid-dar u taħra ħafna zibel barra. U taħbla għet il-semmi, għaj zdi li franka għu l-flux veru, li franka għu l-flux, imma għaj naħzbu f-kol, għanke kukum għan franka għu xej flux, għet ni franka għu l-impact li għet inħallu fuq l-art li tanta nabżon u għet nerġaw intuwa nutrijenti li tanta nabżon min flok narmuħ jħassru jħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħħ
to have the same thing over and over again. I just cannot create it. That's street food. Yes. Which is really becoming in vogue, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. For, for, why, why, is it, why is it so popular? Because this, this, that levels of hygiene are limited and maybe even the tools are limited. Yeah, but I think you get the variety. So in Malta now, there's a whole food truck there culture. Is. It's no longer that you have to have tier and pastizzi as much as I love them. Yes. You can now go and have a pulled pork bun or a veggie burger yes. or sushi. And you, you know, these vans travel around, so you can have a different lunch every day, really without wandering far from your desk. That's true. That's true. Which, uh, Do you find that but we here more are adventurous enough when it comes to food? We're getting there. I'm, I like the, you know, we're getting foreign chefs coming in and mm -hmm. bringing our food to different levels and introducing new ingredients and new um, cultures. Um, but we are, we are getting there now. In the supermarkets, I used to bring a lot of food with me. Now you it's can fine. find pretty much anything you want. Right. It's only if you're slightly ahead of the curve and you see something in a, you know, on English yeah. TV or on American TV, you want yeah. to find it before it's, it's come right. into Malta. But everything else, I think we're, we're getting... A good range. Uh, what's the weirdest thing you've ever got? We have this. Oh, yeah. Uh, this. this. <laughs> okay, we will bring it. What is we, we will put it in the middle. Okay, um, we'll make some space. Yes. This is, this this is for you yeah. to share. <laughs> Actually, this is exactly what I told you before. To just grab three tomatoes, cut them in half, put them in a syrup pan, then use correctly and with a lot of love the sea bass. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could have done better, and this is the, the dried olive? Is the this is the dried olive above, above the sebas, yes. Actually, it's very, what I, again, all my philosophy is this, this and that. I will never put one million ingredient in the dish. So again, we got this fresh, amazing sebas of today. He's the superstar. So in order, this is a big sebas, it's a bit fat, so we need to balance it. To balance it, we need a bit of acidity. So I choose the tomato sherry. Then we, we want to take it to, to a direction which is the Mediterranean. So we have the olive, okay. we have the basilicum. So this is simple flavor, it's just simple flavor. It's like the, the easiest song in the classic, <laughs> classic guitar. It's, it's, I was going to ask you a question. What is the strangest, weirdest thing you've ever cooked? Ooh. Is there anything particular? Yes. Uh, it's not strange, but I... I, or, or, uh, I make a ravioli out of aloe vera, which is very good. Aloe vera? Aloe vera. There is, you, you take the... the, the the, the aloe vera, it has to be a, a plant, a proper plant, not, from, not like a wild plant because it can be a bit dangerous. But uh, you take the aloe vera, just fill it as if it was a fish, you get this, this uh, transparent jelly inside. You do a ravioli out of it, and then you do a strict of fish or a strict wood, but this is the strangest thing. But actually, I put a stretto, yes. Stretto, yes. Uh, what, what I wanted to, to, to do there, it's, it's hard to do it because actually the aloe vera is a gel. So you have to make the pasta. You have to make a small cubes of the gel of the aloe vera frozen. That's the, fit. Okay. That's the filling. Then, when, then when, when, when you fill it, you still have to put it in the freezer. And then when you put it in, in the water, when it's boiling, then it starts melting. It's wow. very, very nice. It's and this, this I prepared only with a bit of lemon. That's it. Again, to go for the flavor of the aloe vera. I think when it comes close to my mouth, it's ravioli, but I will try it from, from your hands. I'll try it. That sounds okay. interesting. And aloe vera is so good for you. It is. It's so good for you. What gives you the impression <laughs> that I'm particularly interested in that? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you very much. We're carrying on. I'm going to try mm, this. But I'm going before to I finish. We've got to go to uh, this feature about organic wine. Oh, happy interesting. And organic wine making. It's a very particular, very vast subject. Mm. You just try to really be a bit simple with the cacao. Paolo will uh, in beat organic. In our way, yeah, ma Paolo de Bono, which familiar, yeah, not only me, I will just feel the generation of the team will start to see it. organic farming, for the cabir, the fruit, the hashish, mod organico. But in our way, for dwelli, naturally, in the English word, dwelli. Oh, now that change, she no more misery. Allora, lui ha detto, come la, chi come si organico sta meglio in our way. Ecco. 
يكبت تقبلوا الدولة أنا ما هتي وهو هتي وهو يهرات وفاتوا إحنا هفنا هشيش في هونك هشيش حزين كان فيت أنا وهنا ذاك علينا نادوا له هشيش حزين ما علينا مش هشيش حزين إحنا في تاني هذا ما تيمنا هفنا جيت ألف شيش جدا تيمنا لو جيت أش ما نهارتوش الهمرية مش أدنى الدسربي أو مش أدنى أدنى أقلب أقل دار بس كم أنت تقلبه الإدو تلميكرو أورجانيزم زويك ده كله يسبيت شوي موت أو تحتنا إسوا بلت في خب بالكو ونيفرس الفاتك أنا كل ما هتحرات إنت أتعيت أوك حد أتعلم كله يا سات كيسة كلش سوا بال بالهشيش هذين إحنا لكنترول هذا شيء تاجي بيري ما هلوش شيء كبير يأتي دويلي ما هش هذين نقول يا مل أتيتي ريفيوج أت ليل هفنا إنسات بنيفيتيالي الليد بيرز والهنيش وفريتك وتني هاجا متى متى يموت وش الهشيش هذين أو الهشيش بالدا يعيش في الصيف ومبات يموت سوا متى يموت يتسوك للروح يتمرمر ويأتيك ال... فيكون عم يتسوك يعمل لك الكربون ويأتيك يأتي أشياء انت وشان تتعتهم تحلوها ويك ولا تشيسا للما ولا تشيسا للما والاريا والاريا ندو سيستم اخرى من هارتو ويش سوا ندو يدو لا يسا يسا ريبير يو بلاو سوا تكون دايقة هفنا كل ما تام يسا سكينة تقدم من جول همرية ايك و لا تلا الحمرية من إيه شيء كل ما تعمل تعتاد. قول لي ما يعدي ولا لا يعدي. إزات. تعرف وش الدنيا أو إيه كنا تتفو الدويلي. إذا زمان ما صدفت فيكينا، بس ترى ترى أنا أبدأ شيء وكل الحشيش أورجان وكل كيف كابلو باولو. Issa li għadda sajf għafna dhabi għinkun un-kwetaħat illi forsi għafna t-tabitajit jispiċa għax il-sajf għonna għafna fejn mullu pero tħablu għaskom xie fil-24 ta' ottubru fil-ħamrun għajkun jemmi l-festival ta' ċikkulata seba wijħet iġa' saru zitta u dalu għara tra' jemmi ċelebrazzjona ta' kull tip ta' ċikkulata għajkun jemmi master chocolate maker Andrew Farrugia li għandu zewċ Guinness World Records li għandu mxaqs mba' ċikkulata għandu l-itwa l-struttura ta' ċikkolata la għattin ħalqet kienet ferrovija ta' 34 metru ta' ċikkolata illi għamlet zminu koll fil-stazzjon fi Brussel fil-fajutnax umbad għamlu koll l-ola struttura bit ċikkolata li għan replika ta' ċburġ kalifa li għan fil-Dubaj u kienetu koll SB ta' Dubaj International Airport fil-2015 diġa fil-stini għaddew ma dwa għamnesħ xil l-fruħ, diġa, zar din l-attivita, ma nistaw għax noqsu, għanna kolla hobbu ċikulata, għal kunem kull tip, għanke ċikulata prodotta b-mod fair, b-mod just, għax għal kolla imdaqxen abbus fil-dinja ta' ċikulata, demonstrazzjonijiet, għanke fuq kif tame tuza ċikulata għal-ġilda ta' għansoma, jisrima u minni, fuq whatsrun.com, ta' tenti, jemmi d-dettalji kolla, pero tinsi għax fil-ħamrun, fil-24 ta' ottubru il-Chocolate Festival ta' Malta. This is a very solemn moment, isn't it? Yes. This is all the fruit of the hard work of our chef and even our grower who's with us here, Paul, Paolo, and our critic who's going to <laughs> pass judgment now on, on, on the food. So these are the risottos. I'm going to start dishing them out. Just a right. second, let me put the fish on. Okay, that's, okay. That, those are little bits and pieces of the tail. Yes. Uh-huh. We have the seaweed here. Fish right here. cubes. And the seaweed to, to garnish. Yes. Yeah. That's a plat tan. A plat simply, it's not complicated, but a plat is not simply like a plat. And the tomato is very sweet, very subtle, and it's very sweet. Right. Are we done? The good oil. That's it. Ah, the good olive oil. <laughs> In Italian, my sauce is cool. Yes, I think. Classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Are we ready? Yes. So, okay. this is for our guests. I'm going to wait. I haven't had anything today. So, please, if you don't mind the portion being a little bit bigger than that. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Here you are, Monique. Thank you. Paolo. Thank you very much. All right. Mm. I'm going to sit and wait. Yes. In the meantime, I'm going to pour out the wine. And I'll be awake. And I'm a chardonnay. Michili, it's a reserva, it's a reserva Chardonnay, which will imply that it's a bit of a heavier wine. Uh, would have 
probably been uh, uh, aged and even fermented in oak, so we're going to expect a bit of a complex wine. And of course, a little bit high in alcohol, it would be about 13.5%, so there you go. And um, I suspect it should, it should do well with uh, this delicious dish that we're having here. I'm not being stingy, but I'm fed a little bit. That's really at no at Lura. Ma in Ferrafti it apposta, and then I should do in Kono Nestau in Tohda Shane in the Daura. Right? So, not being stingy, you can have more wine. Ah, I can see my portion right from here. There he goes. So, thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent. So, but we have these two here in the meantime. Yes, so, Monique and Paolo, please do try that. Take us through it again. Um, so, we have again, of course, yeah, yeah. the sea bass as, as, of course, the, the main ingredient, the star, as you, as you described. Yes. yes. Uh, and what else? There's a bed of... Let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the bottom of the dish. The bottom of the dish is the baby chicory. Baby chicory is, is, is a kind of vegetable that can be boiled. It's, let's say, a, a very big rucola, which is not that common in Malta. A but very big rucola. A very big rucola. So would it have the same high. flavor profile? It's a bit stronger, a bit stronger, so because actually the leaf, when it's a matured leaf, it's a bit thicker than the rucola leaf, so okay. you can find it, uh, it's, it's a strong flavor. Okay. And this is, again, a flavor which can balance acidity, mm. it can balance fat, uh, and this is the, the, the main, let's say, right. the bottom of the dish. Then over and above, we have the cabbage that we grab from the garden. Right. I mix it with a bit of yes. onion. Uh, that, that onion, I, I put with the onion the pumpkin seed. And with the same, in the same pan, we just steam the pieces of the fish there. Excellent. In the corner, we just clean okay. the area where we put that fish. And Monique is going to tell us what she thought of it, yes? No, I think actually the introduction of the seaweed as well gives it a, a, a nice course. way to eat seaweed, because exactly. you normally have the seaweed with Asian food or associated with just we health bring food. It to a Mediterranean, so it's nice to... to uh, Mediterranean scenarios. Hmm. Seaweed, it's, some, it, it's a strong flavor. Uh, as soon as it's a strong flavor, it, normally strong flavor can be mixed not with light flavor, with other strong flavor. Then right. you create okay. you create a mix. Okay. Uh, oh, there like a tea? Yeah, sure enough. No. Is it your kind of food? Like, like a tea? It is. Tea? I do. I do like uh, um, uh, the the rucola especially and the seaweed. The seaweed is one of my favorite uh, is it? vegetables. You can call it that. Yeah, cool. But uh, what I like about this dish is the different textures and the different flavors yeah. as you go to oh, the no, layers. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. that's exactly the, the, the idea. Idea. Even because. Type of the onion here is the one I peel. Whoa! <laughs> uh, you know, I like a little process. Uh, uh, oh, you can tell there was a lot of love put in it. So one one should expect the that. most small detail, which is not important at all. This dish don't have calories actually. It's a very very slim dish. <laughs> So if no calories, no calories, no calories. almost no calories at all. Oh no, no, because as soon as you said that, Monique looked at me and laughed. <laughs> Sorry. Tell me why. No, I just think it's something we can really indulge in then. No, that's, that's not true. <laughs> it's, it's you looked at me and laughed because he said there's no calories in it. It's You're implying something there. <laughs> You were, <laughs> but I know you were. Oh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Actually, this is. Right. Uh, Thank you very much. This is, <laughs> this, is a, this is a dish with very low quantity of calories. It's not a fat dish. It's mm. not like a meat dish. It's actually you have your vegetable and a piece of fish. The most of, of, of the fat, it's on the fish right. only. Uh, all the rest. Which is. Yeah. Yeah. All the no, rest is much, contained. Is pro a percentage of fat, which is ridiculous. Now, let's face it, fat has its. Look, let's face it from the beginning. The flavor is in the fat. Everybody loves fat. Okay. Oh, yes. There you go. Okay. So I've got a lot more flavor than you have. <laughs> okay. We're all, let's say, all the persons are going for fats. Let's go to the, to the extreme. Pancetta. It's fat. It's all fat. It's very much flavor. A lot of other things are contain a lot of fat. So we like fat. Yes. Now we have to be aware. We have to be aware that that fat is good. It's tasty, but, but it has to be taken in the right. Yes. In the right. Yeah. In the right. No, we joke about it. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Yes. yes. Exactly. I'm going to actually try that, the wine with this first dish. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling. Yeah, I do. So to really go down. Cheers. Mm. 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 Mm.
Cheers. Cheers, cheers, to, cheers to all of you. Grazie a tutti per essere qui. Sono concluso il motto. Ma è un call in sé. Ma è Paolo Yamel l'imbitti a un call. È 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 un Well, well then. Okay, that's a nice selection. You can feel the alcohol there, can't you? It's yes. a hot one, yeah. That's a hot country. Right, so we're right. now on to the risotto, on the, the pièce risotto. de résistance. Is it? You're going to be the critic. Yeah, no, no, that's Monique's job. No, that's her, her task. <laughs> Again, okay. we, we start from a base which is nothing. We build around the risotto. We took everything in the risotto, the most of the, of the flavor we got with the water that we prepared, with the head of the fish. The stick of the parsley, the crushed garlic, yes. and the half of the onion. That that that, 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 ah, that's it. This is the main. Uh, this is the main ingredient. Awesome. Then we put uh, the leaf, the lemon leaf, which took about a, a lot of, of, of a role in the mm -hmm. dish. That is the freshness that you feel, the lemon flavors mm -hmm. that you feel, and this is exactly the flavor which is going to balance the fat of the fish again. So you feel it very very creamy, but in your last taste, you will feel the lemon. Ah, it's true. Uh, Lightens up a little bit. Exactly. It's a bit heavier exactly. at, the, at the beginning. So this is the opposite of this. This is very creamy, which we need acidity or sourness to balance. This is not fat mm. at all. It's not creamy. This is actually a steamed fish, which in my opinion, the most of the fish have to be only steamed because if not, you're going to, uh, let's say, to sacrifice this property. Of course, and uh, that's not what we want to do. You use practically all the parts of the fish, from the head to the tail, to the belly, to the bone, all of to it. everything, 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 everything. I tell you more than that. Um, a fish, when you start, when you clean it, and there is the small uh, meats that normally they're transparent, that when you fill it, you don't even see. I remember to see uh, la signora, let's say in Italy, mm -hmm. they throw it into the boiled water. When when it's in the boiled water, you start seeing all the white meat right. that you never saw when you when you fill it. Then they just grab it with their fingers and they take the small pieces of meat that left on the bone and they put it in a nice uh, plate and then with two sherry tomato and one leaf of basilicum there is another sauce <laughs> and I tell you more than that the, the inside part of the fish it's not that fat as the outside part because normally the fish have to protect himself he protect okay. his body yes. so like everybody else like my belly yeah, example, this is well, you protect with fat I'm, I'm so the inside part are very very uh, uh, let's say extreme, extremely good in flavors so those sauces that you just come from the bone, they're really, really good. Very nice. And everything that seems to be natural seems to be subtle, but yeah. elegant at the same time. I and this is how I, I would describe it. Can I taste it now? Yes. <laughs> Monique, the last word goes to you. No, absolutely. Again, yeah, real nice balance. Very, very delicate. It's something you could serve as a starter, I think, and not yeah. affect sure. the rest mm. of your courses. And, a, and a, a really nice one, again, to include seaweed and fish in risotto. It's very quite unusual True. to see fish in a risotto. True. I was a little bit concerned because I don't like seaweed and I don't particularly like fish that much. So I said, okay, this is not exactly my, my best combination. I tell you, this is really elegant, nice and refined. I would, I could I will, I eat a put, whole When you do something this. like this, in, in, in my opinion, <clears throat> you try to follow the flavors, to put as less salt as you can. As I mentioned before, the seaweed are dehydrated, they're dehydrated under salt. Mm -hmm. So the salt that we have only in the leaves of the seaweed is enough. Now, it could be that we, we feel that there is a bit of salt missing, but no. As soon as it's one second passing, uh, yes. you start feeling the flavors. Yes. And I can tell you that with salt, you couldn't feel the flavors. It would overpower them. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Exactly. There you go. So this is a, a small training or a gym how to train ourselves for flavors. In some exactly. Salute, Sol. Thank you very oh, much, So Alevi, for well, being yeah. with us today. More than Paolo, well. grazie a tutti. Thank you. 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 Party mil mil frot tahid mitu kol grazie avna. Thank you very much, Monique, for being very kind in your judgment. Bye, thank you for our affair as well, and we wish you very much, very, a lot of luck with your. You did, yeah, <laughs> with your app. You. Let us know as soon as it's up because we'd like to communicate that to to all of us as a service to our viewers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Grazie avna dramen tilkom. Nishtiet lintas tau du o daklet du o ahna parang zomat. Tau kol segu recheti li ha kon li kon ente preparolum akter tar tu konskun tau fu Facebook u kol alva tau kol te prova omid dar fil kum di ta ta kom. Grazie hava tali kon tu mana na lau kom palnum jima. Grazie. Cheers.
Chibus is brought to you by Azapardi Fisheries Phoenicia Hotel Vegware Finia Caprici by Abrams Decal House <laughs>